In just one month, two mothers and seven children ages 18 and under died in three horrific crimes in Guilford County. EMTs and paramedics, one of the first on the scenes of tragedies. December 12th, a fire home on Grimsley Street in Greensboro killed three small children. Then on January 1st, a mom was shot and killed inside a vehicle on Cridlin Road. We just told you about that case. And one of the most troubling scenes, murder-suicide at a home on Mossy Meadow Drive in High Point. That happened Saturday morning. Fox 8's Madison Forsey has spent today learning how members of Guilford County EMS keep their composures in these painful moments. Madison. Yeah, this home behind me is considered a mass casualty critical incident. Guilford County EMS leaders tell me that their people know how to respond to the medical side of any call that they face. What they really need is group support for the mental and emotional toll that these cases can sometimes take. Because no call is the same. It's something different every single day, every single call. Each day, Jasmine Pierce loads up her ambulance. She puts herself in the shoes of patients. But it, it all comes down to that compassion for that family member that's going through something or that patient that's going through something. Hearts get heavy. The frequency of intense and traumatic calls Jasmine has responded to have increased during her five years with Guilford County EMS. Certain calls mm -hmm. like shootings and things like that. You used to hear more so about those things like at night, on the weekends. And now they happen during all hours of the day and the victims are younger. The department's peer support group reviews all calls and flags the most traumatic ones. If a child, somebody under the age of 18, gets transported lights and sirens to the hospital, that's automatically a flag. Sorry, Goldberg runs the peer support group. Tuesday's session focused on resilience. Since I started in, in this position, I, I've had over 200 contacts with employees. Um, so that's you know, 200 people that I've sat down with, worked through something, you know, who otherwise may not have you know, gotten any support. A, what we call it is a hot wash immediately afterwards where we can kind of talk through some things and decompress, but then there's a check-in a period of time later just to make sure that there's no additional issues that have cropped up from that. Providing mental health help and finding ways to keep crews from burning out. If you want to keep employees for any length of time and you want them to remain, most importantly, healthy you know, and, and stable, um, I, I think it's, it's just as important as, as any piece of equipment we carry. Right now, Guilford County EMS is looking at a pilot program to help ease the burden on crews. It could involve sending a different kind of team rather than an ambulance when it's needed. We don't have all the details, but it should roll out in the spring. In Guilford County, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News.